everyone. We've been getting a lot of questions about how to graph functions involving cube roots. Let's go ahead and do an example together. So our focus here is how can we graph a cube root function over a specific domain, which we'll call a restricted domain. So a cube root function is going to look like this, either f of x equals or y equals the cube root of something. <laughs> So let's move on and do an example together. Here we want to graph the function represented by y equals the cube root of x minus 2 for the domain negative 6 to 10. So we call this a restricted domain since we only care about how the function acts between negative 6 and positive 10. So we only care about one portion of the coordinate plane. So if we think about this in terms of a table of values for this function, we only want the x values from negative 6 to positive 10. And since we are looking to plot coordinate points, we're really only concerned with the integers here. Now for each x value, we have to find the y value so that we can find some coordinate points that we can plot on the graph and then construct our function. So for the first x value of negative 6, I want to take that value and replace that with x in the original function and then evaluate. So negative 6 minus 2 equals negative 8. And the cube root of negative 8 equals negative 2. So when x is negative 6, y is negative 2. And we have the first point that is going to be on our graph. Now, to find the rest of the y values for this table, you can either repeat this process for each x value, or you can use the table on your graphing calculator by inputting this function into y equals and that would be the cube root of x minus 2. Either way will allow you to find the value of y for each input value of x. Now keep in mind you're going to get a lot of decimals here since only certain numbers are perfect cubes. So that's okay. Now once you have completed the table, we're ready to plot some points and construct this graph. Now we only want to use the points that have x and y values that are integers because we don't want to have to estimate the location of the points that have values that are decimals. And also we'll see why just using these five points will be enough to create an accurate sketch of this function. Starting with the first point, negative 6, negative 2, we can go ahead and plot these five points and then eventually we can draw the graph. Now the mistake that students often make here is that they connect their points using straight lines. This results in a graph that is incorrect. The graph of a cube root is curved, so we need to connect these points with a curved line. So now we have constructed the graph of the function y equals the cube root of x minus 2 over the domain of negative 6 to 10. Now another thing to look out for here is that since the domain is restricted, we do not include arrows on the endpoints of the graph. So again, we're only concerned with the graph between negative 6 and positive 10. We don't care what it does beyond that domain. And that is how you graph a function involving a cube root over a restricted domain.